Hey friends, do you know how many sides a snowflake has? A lot of people think it has eight, but actually a snowflake has six sides. The reason we know a snowflake has six sides is mostly thanks to this artist. His name was Wilson Bentley. Wilson lived on a farm in Vermont. He actually started his life as a farmer, but when he combined his love of photography and attached his camera to his microscope, he started taking amazing pictures of snowflakes. As you can imagine, it's pretty hard to take a picture of a snowflake. He had to work really, really fast. In fact, a lot of the times, Wilson was working in his barn outside in really, really cold temperatures. Because as you can imagine, as soon as a snowflake lands, it's going to start melting. The fact he could get these pictures is amazing. Today we are going to make some snowflakes ourselves, except we're going to be using what we call watercolor resist. Resist is something you get when two things won't go together, like this blue liquid won't naturally go into this yellow liquid until I shake it up. Sort of like oil and vinegar, if you ever put oil and vinegar on a salad. Two things don't normally go together. So we're going to be using crayons, which have a lot of wax in them, and then we are going to paint over the crayon. Where the crayon is, it's going to resist the paint that sits on top of it. Let me show you. Okay, so I can't show you until I show you how to make a snowflake. So here's how you make a snowflake. Start with an X, put a line down the middle, and then you can put anything you want at the top. In this case, I'm making like a little V shape. I'm going inside each line and putting another little V shape on. Every time I make a snowflake though, I start with an X put a line in the middle and then I can put fancy things on top like circles and then I can put little lines on the line. An X with a line in it, this one I put triangles on it. As long as I have six sides that makes a great snowflake. So here's why I couldn't show you the resist first. I had to show you how to make a snowflake because we're putting white crayon on a white piece of paper and that is really hard to see. You can see I am putting all kinds of beautiful snowflakes on there. This is the magic part. Trust me, when I use my watercolor and paint over that crayon, the watercolor won't stick to where the waxy crayon is. That's called resist. It's resisting that paint. I am using cool colors like blues and purples because I want it to sort of look like, you know, snow. So, ooh, there's some pretty purple on it. You can see I have put a lot of layers and a lot of snowflakes on my paper. So once I've put a lot of snowflakes on in crayon, I'll get paint and I'll go over my paper. I love that art magic. I think it's super fun to do watercolor resist with white crayons. And the more snowflakes I use with my, that I make with my crayon, I think the more interesting my finished product is. I can't wait to see yours.